What is up guys, it is Jack and welcome to a new video today. We are going to be talking about my pick for the number one budget DSLR 2018. So the first thing that came to mind when I was trying to decide this was price. What would I consider budget? And I know budget kind of depends on who you are and how much money you actually have to spend. But as far as DSLRs, I would consider budget anywhere under $600. So any camera over $600, I would put more in the intermediate to pro category. The next thing I wanted to think about was lens selection. You, know, you have Sony's, Canon's, Nikon's, which brands have the best lens selection? Now I know for a fact that Canon has the most lenses, but are they all kind of similar? I don't know. Well, I could rule out Sony really quickly because all their cameras are way too expensive. And while Nikon does have some really nice lenses, the reason I ended up choosing Canon was that Nikon's lenses a lot of times are a lot harder to use. Not only are they much less smooth, so you cannot get those like nice zoom shots like this, but for a lot of lenses like the kit lens that came on Jack Goodman's camera, you actually have to press a button and then move it out and move it back in before you can start recording, which is definitely a design flaw. Sure, you might be thinking, oh, that takes two seconds, it doesn't matter. Well, when you're out vlogging and you just have to get that shot, if you miss it because you're trying to fiddle with the lens to get it to turn on, that is not worth it. So that rules out most of Nikon's cameras. Plus, it's missing the number one thing that I would recommend for anyone trying to get into the DSLR market, a flip out screen. And that is where I turn to Canon. Canon is known for having their awesome flip out screens. And as far as Canon's budget line, they basically have two options. You can get a Canon Rebel or you can get the Canon SL1 or SL2. And while the SL2 does and would actually be perfect on this list, it's $650 retail. So it doesn't quite fit under the budget category. Although if you're willing to spend the extra 50 bucks, the SL2 is definitely a great option. But there are a lot of Canon Rebel cameras that have really similar specs that you can get for a much lower price. In particular, I'm talking about the camera I'm shooting on right now and the one that I recommend to anyone getting into the DSLR game and that is the Canon Rebel T5i. In case you guys don't know, I've been using this camera to shoot every single video since October of 2016 when I first got it and I absolutely love it. As I said, Canon has the best lens selection so you can get anything from a Canon 10 to 18 millimeter, which is what I'm shooting on right now, you know, like a wide lens to a nifty 50 and everything from f1.2 to 1.4 to 1.8 so you can get those really nice professional shots and the vast majority of the lenses at least i've used from canon are very high quality the other thing that really pushes me to this camera in particular is its price so currently the price on amazon for the canon t5i all brand new coming with an 1855 millimeter lens is 545 dollars that's right 545 dollars for a brand new canon t5i with the kit lens that is an amazing deal. Well, of course this doesn't do 4K. That's not really something that you could expect in a camera for this price range. It also only shoots 18 megapixel photos, although if you really need the higher resolution, you could go for the Canon SL2, which shoots in 24 megapixels. Although for me, since I don't take many photos, this thing works fine. And to this day, although Canon's come out with two new iterations of this camera, the Canon T6i and the Canon T7i, I still think this is the best option. Not only is it by far the cheapest, but it's got most of the features that the T6i and the T7i have. It's got that flip out touch screen, fast autofocus, and a sensor that's bigger than most cameras on the market these days. The sensor in this thing is an APS-C. So if you get the right lens, this thing could do absolutely amazing in low light. Plus, it's got a really small form factor. It's a lot smaller than something like the Canon 80D or 70D since it doesn't have that screen on the top. And of course, the number one thing that I like about this camera is that it has a microphone jack. And as a beginner YouTuber or vlogger, this is probably going Going to have anything you could ever need. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Also comment down below what you guys thought and huge shout outs to Floris Jansen. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but in my most recent live stream, he kept saying you should do a review of your Canon T5i. Canon T5i. Canon T5i. And so I was finally like, fine, I'll do it. And the reason I haven't done this review before is because I was very reluctant to do it since in order to do the review, I'd have to do it all with B-roll. As you saw in this video, since I can't actually show you the T5i since I'm using it to record this whole video. But here's some test footage and as you can tell it looks pretty good. So comment down below what you guys think. Comment down below if you agree with me and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you're new. I'm Jack. Peace.